My name is Ron. I'm a retired model maker. I'm a woodworker and a carver. My brother Michael and I came up with the gyro jaw. It will hold all those different shape pieces in your vise by articulating, no matter what you put in it, to the shape of the side. This is the first improvement made to a vise since 516 BC when the vise was invented. This is the gyro jaw. It's made out of a, uh, a gripping type elastomer. Uh, it has a metal stud in the top, diamond pattern in the bottom that does not leave a mark in your finished workpiece, and a groove for clamping tapered round pieces. Using the two fingers on the side, holding both workpiece and gyro jaw, it allows you to clamp table leg into the uh, vise. If you have to remove sanding marks, as you can see, you can plane down the whole length of the thing and hold it very securely. And you can work on it in any direction, even in a vertical position. Not too many vices that will do that. Here is a compound angle. It's a trapezoid. Tapered and angled in both directions. It'd be impossible to clamp in a vise if you didn't have the gyro jaw. But with the gyro jaw, it's a simple task. Holds very securely, there again, in any direction. This is a cane or walking stick, generally tapered all the way down, starting at a carbon eagle head on the top. You usually have to hold on to this thing between your legs, hold on to it with one hand and dig at it with the other hand. It's a gyro jaw and a groove. Simply put it in your vise and close it. Now you're actually working on it with two hands, very controlled. Chiseling, gouging, and there again, in any direction.